Well, hello guys and welcome to my very first tutorial on this channel, or at least the first proper tutorial, which will be a wig tutorial for Krolia. Mm, you may have seen her already in former Musical.ly compilation videos I did on my channel. And I made a poll on the Voltron Amino asking if like, you guys would want a video tutorial or a written tutorial. And in the end I've done both, but most of you voted for the video tutorial, so I'm doing this now. So let's get started. Uh, for the first part I only have pictures because I forgot to take a video and yeah, but at the end you will have some video sequences. Now, first of all you need two base wigs. I chose two wigs from Coscraft in the color Deep Purple and Plum in style ash because like they're really thick and really soft and they were really easy to work with and yeah. At the beginning you take the plum wick, or the wick you want the second color to be, and you start taking it apart, which means removing all the wefts. This might take a little while, but in the end you will be left with a big pile of plum wefts. Moving on, you will want to pin the purple wig onto a wig head. Don't wonder why there are two I was working on commissions and yeah. <laughs> so then you want to, will want to look for the um, part where you want the second color to start and from there on you pin all the other hair up so that you are left with like a gap between the two parts. Then just like uh, with the plum wig you start Taking off one weft at the time and then sew in about like two wefts of the other color for each weft you take out. And you just keep on pinning them up again and sewing them in again and pinning them up and yeah, just continue doing that until you reached almost the end. You see, there is this net part where it's like your neck area and from there on you want to take your long wefts and sew them in from the bottom of on the very bottom of the wig cap so that you don't get them tangled up first you will want to sew in like one of the long wefts or at least i saw sewed in one of the long wefts and then braided it together so it does not get tangled and then sewed in the second one and braided that one. If there is still too much space left between the long wefts and the shorter ones on top, you can just sew in another short weft to close this gap. Um, for the side parts where the wig will be like styled up, I also sewed in one weft kind of inside out so that the wig cap isn't showing when you style the wig up. It's a bit difficult to explain. <laughs> I hope it's kind of understandable. But yeah, from that on it gets to the styling and cutting part. For the cutting, there comes the video, <laughs> you will want to cut the purple upper part first. So you kind of separate that with your finger and just start trimming it down to your desired length. After that you will move on to the plum part and you will kind of lift it up with your hand and start trimming from the bottom of it because you want to style the wig up so it has to be trimmed underneath like the, the top layer 
<laughs> so that it um, looks better because you don't really want to trim the top layer or it will be too short for styling it up. After you've cut the whole back of the wig, you have to securely pin it on the wig head with as much needles as you need, like I used for like, on the top and the back and on the sides, because you will turn the wig upside down to style it. And as you can see, I just come through it with my fingers a bit and then just keep spraying and spraying and spraying. And that's actually everything that's to it. Like. Yeah, there's not more to the styling part, <laughs> at least for the back. Just style it as long as you want to until you're satisfied with it. Now, moving on to the little rat's tail, I think I kind of put in a bit too many wefts because it was a bit too thick in the end, but you just kind of separate it and like tie it together at the point where you want to cut it off. You don't have to make it too long since Crowley's rat's tail isn't like a meter long or something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you just cut it off and kind of thin it out at the end so that it is not like this big glob of hair um, and that it's just like yeah smooth and not too thick So now the last thing that's left are the bangs and I usually do them in front of a mirror because like that I can see clearly what, how long, how long the bangs have to be and how they look and whatever. It's a bit hard to explain, but you it's you have to go after your feeling again, like 
when you feel it's enough and it's enough and just try out try an arrow don't cut off too much at the beginning because wicks don't grow and you won't be able to fix it so go little bits at the time i i don't really like spray the bangs with hairspray at the beginning i just um leave them as they are mostly because it looks more natural but that's up to you to decide and actually that's basically it again The wig you're seeing now is my own Crolia wig because I packed the other two away already and I cosplayed her again a few days ago. So that was a great opportunity. But yeah, there you have a little all-around view on how my wig looks. And I hope this tutorial helped you. If you still have any questions, you can put them in the comments and also, my wig commissions are always open, so <laughs> just text me on my Instagram or something. And yeah, if you want any other tutorials, just write it in the comments and I see what I can do. And yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>